Hi everybody, my name is Stephanie Kraft and my website is stephaniekraft.com. This video is called Twin Flames Hardships Accept the Gifts from Your Twin. So along this journey of the, the Twin Flame journey, you will be having ups and downs, you will have be having push and pull energies, you will be having contact and no contact with your twin and this can go on for this pattern this journey can go on and on for years so what is it that you're meant to be doing during all of this seemingly chaotic energy up and down energy push pull energy contact no contact energy every time you're going through those times that are not fully harmonious is are the times to go within so look at what is being triggered within you and really take into account what it is that you are guided to learn and if you don't know what it is yet this is the time to look at what is being triggered within you. Are you being faced with feelings of low self-worth? Then there's your answer. It's time to work on your own self-worth. Are you being triggered by feelings of abandonment? Then this is your opportunity to work on fears around abandonment. If you're feeling unloved, this is the time to focus on self-love. If you're feeling impatient or needy, this is the time to practice patience, releasing, letting go, and feeling fulfilled from within. All of the words that I'm saying sound easier said than done. But if you really take the time to go and delve into the feelings that are being brought up, please take this journey for what it is. With each instance, your twin is offering you a gift, a literal gift on your soul's journey for growth and expansion. And you are doing this as favors for each other. View your twin as your best friend in the spiritual sense. And while you view this other aspect of your own soul in this way, you can better receive the gifts that they are offering you. Release all need to go into judgment blame, and attacking. Return to yourself and honestly and with high integrity look at what is being brought up from within you and master it. Recognize that as you master each of these gifts, so before it becomes the gift, it's a deficiency within you. A deficiency that's false, that's not real, that was created or imposed by your family of origin, ancestry, past lives, any of those. But so finding the true self within is the gift that your twin is bringing to you. It's a mirror. It's a remembrance to come back home to the self. So anytime you fill up any of these deficient areas within yourself, you will perceive this as your twin having given you a gift. It is the time now for every twin on the planet to take an honest, sincere look in the mirror and stop turning to the twin 
what is the twin doing? Can you please, because I have a lot of clients from around the world asking me, can you please tell me if my twin felt this, what they felt, what they are going through, how they responded, are they going to respond? And none of those questions really matter. What really matters is come back home to the self, go inward. What is it bringing up within you? And by the way, when you do heal these things, you're pulling your twin along with you, higher, higher, higher. You're evolving together and you're both becoming a whole and you're connecting um, at deep levels while even not in communication and you're doing this self work, you have no idea what the other one is doing, which is why you're asking me these questions, but I'm telling you that it is shifting your twin and you are loving your twin by loving yourself. So keep doing your self work. And, you know, I feel like I am repeating myself a lot in a lot of my videos, but it's because I'm being guided. I asked source or my higher self, what messages need to come through for the twin flames? And this is the message that wants to come through. And by the way, when I hit the record button, I really have no idea what I'm going to say in each video. I really don't think about it before. I just come up with a title, like a theme, and then I just trust. And in this particular video, um, it's become a healing transmission and I didn't expect that and it, it had happened in a previous video on Twin Flames that I've made and I'll explain a little bit of the process. This healing transmission is happening right now. It's happening through my voice but what I'm seeing is that it's happening through my eyes as well. And so what's happening when I start speaking is that this enti my entire room my entire field of vision turns white and I feel energy healing coming out of my eyes. I didn't know this was um, part of my service and it just started happening in um, another video I very recently made for Twin Flames and I didn't expect it to happen again in this video, but it's happening. So if my eyes look like I'm just gla glazing over and staring very intently, it's um, it's part of this healing transmission and it feels like my eyes are um, somewhat locked into that position. Just explaining the process as I'm going through it so that you can know and then you can come back and watch this video as many times as you need to. Anytime you feel that you need a boost of energy or you need reminders from the words that are coming through and it's not just the words that are coming through me but it is an energy that's happening and I can see um, pure white all around me and coming through my eyes so I'm going to turn this video off I'm going to make some more twin flame videos and I'm going to continue making twin flame videos and you may have seen that I've started a new series of videos on the path of enlightenment called walking the path and I will continue to be making those as well and I'll always title my videos Twin Flames or Walking the Path so if you're not interested in one or the other you can know which ones to click on or avoid. So um, I love you all, blessings and have a beautiful day.